This is a tutorial to set up Breath of the Wild in VR. It's fast paced and in depth, but keep in mind that the mod did just come out. So when you watch this, it might be outdated a little bit. Join the Flatta VR Discord to get help and support if you need it. Big thank you to the Better VR developers and the Flatta VR Discord community for making this possible. The first thing you're gonna need is a copy of the game for the Wii U. I bought a Wii U console and the game off of Facebook Marketplace for a good deal. I'm not gonna talk about alternative ways to get the game because they're not legal. You're also gonna need a storage device. I'm using this, you can use a USB. Put your disc in if it wasn't digitally purchased. Plug in your USB and this should pop up. Hit cancel, don't hit format. Click your profile, scroll down, and make sure save password is clicked on. Then go to this website on your gamepad. It should look like this, and if nothing happens after about 15 seconds, you're going to need to clear your history in your browser and restart the Wii by holding down the power button for four seconds. Next time you go to this website, it should look like this now, and I'm gonna hit dump a disc because I'm using a disc, but you can use the digital games thing if you have that. Then just wait a hot minute and voila. Now you should be able to find it on your computer or under whatever storage device you used. I downloaded the emulator and I put it in its own folder on my C drive. I right clicked to the properties of the emulator and I went to compatibility and disabled full screen optimizations for all users and also went to the DPI options to fix scaling problems and override high DPI scaling behavior. And whatever you do, do not run this program as administrator, just trust me. I then ran the program, I set the game path to my game folder and I also let it have all the graphics packs. I loaded into my game being there, but I needed to update it because it said version zero, so I updated it to version 208. Ran the game, made a save file, and exited. I downloaded the latest version of the Better VR mod, 0.92, and extracted the contents into the emulator's folder with the exe. I ran the program again, I checked the graphics settings, and then I checked the general settings, went into graphics, made sure the API was set to Vulkan, and vSync is off. I exited, and then I launched the Better VR launch simu in VR bat, and I made sure all the graphic packs were there because they weren't there before. Then I went ahead and I launched the game while wearing my VR headset and in Steam VR, and it looked like this. After making sure that it launched on its own like that, I went and I changed some of the graphic pack settings. Personally, I gave myself infinite stamina because I run with my physical body and I feel like I should be able to run as much as I want. Under FPS++, I set it as 120 FPS. These are the settings that I am using. You do not have to have them this way. It really depends on what you want and what your computer can handle. I had a problem with Steam VR crashing every time I launched this, so in order to fix that, just change to the runtime. Set Steam VR as the OpenXR runtime. And for me, I have to do this every time. To use it with your Cat VR treadmill, you're going to want to hit device config and then add at the bottom the little plus. Hit other platform and then find the AXC for Simu. Hit OK and then you're good to go. I hope this tutorial helped you. And if it didn't, I apologize. Join the Flat to VR Discord server. They do offer support. Consider subscribing if you like these type of tutorials. I will be putting out more in the future and drop a like if you like this video. Thank you.